Coming off an ancient Chinese imperial family, the Pekingese dog was originally developed as a companion dog. Pekingese dogs have a sacred status in the history of Chinese culture. Legend has it that these dogs were actually lions which were shrunk to miniature size by Buddha. Despite being an ancient breed, Pekingese dogs were introduced very late to the Western world. British invaders brought these dogs into England in the 1860s. In this list, we have compiled a collection of the top 10 interesting facts about this unique breed. Top 10 interesting things you should know about Pekingese. Number 1. Pekingese are very loyal and affectionate. You might have heard of the saying, a dog is a man's best companion. Pekingese dogs take this to another level. This is a breed that was actually bred as a companion dog. For centuries, Pekingese dogs were kept as playful companions by the Chinese royal families. The only job these dogs had back then was to show affection to their imperial owners and be a source of pleasure for them. And this behavior of centuries has gotten its root into this dog's temperament. To date, Pekingese make very loyal and affectionate playmates. These dogs are perfect for families. Pekingese dogs won't break free and are also well suited for families with children living in apartments. This small dog might not be able to do much, but it will stay by your side as an adorable symbol of affection. Number 2. Pekingese are very intelligent and strong-willed. When we said this small dog might not be able to do much, we meant no offense to this dog's intelligence. These dogs are surprisingly smart. Owners often describe their Pekingese pet as opinionated. This trait also has its root in the royal background of this breed. When you have a history of being an imperial's pet, you won't mind communicating your feelings. Pekingese dogs know their own minds, they are intelligent. The myths of lion heritage are also clearly visible in their behavior. They can do amazing acts of smartness. Sometimes, intelligence can turn into stubbornness. A good way to come over this problem is through obedience classes. This can be really helpful in grooming their royal personality. Number 3. Pekingese can make good guard dogs. Yes, you read it right. Pekingese can make good guard dogs. Although this statement might seem contrary to their appearance at first, these dogs have this capability too. Even more, interestingly, they had been used as private guards. The story goes like this. In ancient China, royals used to keep the smallest Pekingese in their sleeves. These dogs had fierce personalities and were used as miniature guard dogs. Now it becomes obvious why they were such a favorite pet for the ancient Chinese imperials. The tradition is lost now, but this guarding temperament is still in their genes. Pekingese dog owners often say that their Pekingese are very vocal about the intruders. They are also very alert to other suspected dangers. Just like we said, this breed still has the potential for being a good guard dog in its own way. Number 4. That beautiful Pekingese coat requires serious maintenance. With that lovely fluffy long coat, sneak in the problems too. This statement is right for almost every dog breed with a long coat, and our Pekingese is no exception here. Pekingese is a high-maintenance dog that requires a lot of grooming. In order to keep that beautiful coat clean and maintained, it requires to be brushed at least several times a week. Occasional baths are also mandatory. If the coat is not groomed properly, it is going to become matted and it will be serious for every dog lover. It does not end with just brushing and washing, you have to trim the coat to certain places. The coat above the eyes must be trimmed in order for the dog to see. Plus, the owner should also clip the coat in hot weather. Otherwise, it would be uncomfortable for the dog. Number 5. Pekingese need daily exercise, but they won't wear you out. Yes, this little fella requires some exercise too. Well, everyone has a right to stay healthy. Now before a potato couch owner changes his mind about having this dog, there is some silver in the lining too. Pekingese gets tired quickly, and they won't ask for exercise any more than you do. Pekingese dogs were originally developed as companion dogs, not sporting or hunting dogs, so they don't require miles of walk every day. All that this small toy asks for is a moderately long walk daily. And this should be enough for keeping you and your dog healthy. Number 6. Pekingese enjoy cold temperatures. This little and timid creature may appear fragile, but it won't get chills in cold weather for it has a long coat, the same coat you were worrying about earlier. The reason for their preference for cold temperatures is right there in their name. The name Pekingese is derived from Peking, the former name for today's Beijing. This breed originated in Beijing and is adopted to thrive long in its cold winters. Naturally, Pekingese dogs do well in cold temperatures. It may be a good point for some owners, but for others, it translates to problems sometimes. Owners who are traveling to warmer places to spend their summers in leisure will have to take extra measures for their cute pet. Pekingese pups will require ice packs to travel with. Number 7. Pekingese are known for their distinctive walk. You all may have heard of the catwalk. Well, Brace yourself for the dog walk now. Most interestingly, Pekingese dogs have a behold. The royals are coming walk. This distinctive gait is in accord with their imperial history. The Pekingese is fondly called to have a rolling gait. As they walk, their body gently sways from one side to another. This rolling gait is a characteristic feature of this breed. In short, Pekingese dogs claim the red carpet walk in the kingdom of dog breeds. Although it might be an obvious thing, dog lovers find this gait extremely heart melting. Number 8. Pekingese are surprisingly heavy. Pekingese dogs are a perfect example of the idiom looks are deceiving. In this case, looks are literally deceiving. By now, 
You might have pictured a cute small fluffy toy dog weighing no more than a few pounds. Pekingese dogs are going to shatter your fancy imaginations. Surprisingly, Pekingese have a stocky and muscular body. Their bone structure is also a little heavier than most other dogs of their size. Their muscular body is hidden behind a fluffy coat, and it deceives the viewer about their actual weight. Pekingese dogs break the convention of lightweight, small breeds, some might find it hard to believe, but the standard weight for this breed of Pekingese dogs is about 14 pounds. And yes, this is heavy for their size. Number 9. A healthy moderately sized nose. We agree that the specificity of this statement is a little bit peculiar. But trust us, we have serious reasons for being so particular. There is a common problem with all the flat, nose breeds, and that is that they can have breathing problems. And once again, our Pekingese is no exception to this common notion. The dogs from this breed have flat noses, but some dogs from this group have moderately sized noses. If you are looking to have a Pekingese dog, make sure you have the healthiest one. Breathing problems associated with the flat nose can have severe effects on the health of the dog, and breeders keep this thing in their minds too. Breeders are trying to improve this feature of Pekingese dog as you watch this video. Number 10. Pekingese perform very well in dog shows. This is some big news for kennel owners and dog lovers. Stats show that Pekingese dogs are good in dog shows, and this is one of the major reasons for their popularity. We all want our dog to win that dog show in the country fair, don't we? The reason for their good performs lies in their intelligent nature and good looks. Pekingese have the fourth, most wins at Westminster, and this is something to be proud of for this already imperial breed.